Welcome back guys. In this video we are going to learn topo surface command. Now we have pretty much completed our house model. There are still few things to do such as adding your plants and adding lighting to our building. We'll do that in the, in later videos. Now let's finish our topo surface for this building. Now if we go to massing and site tab Inside that we have this model site panel and then inside that we have this topo surface command So to use that topo surface command you have to go to Site plan So in the floor plans we have this site plan in the project browser. So let's double click on that Now we are in a site plan now. I'm gonna zoom out Around yeah, that's fine now we'll select this topo surface command. So once I select that, it brings me to sketch mode. Now there are a few things that you could do to create your topo surface. First of all, let's look at the tools here. So the first tool we have is a place point. So we can create a topo surface by placing points. And you can see on the option bar, we have this elevation option. So whatever the elevation you have given here, that would be applied to your point. Now, next option we have create from imports. That means if you have a topo surface drawing in AutoCAD and you have designed that over there, you can import that and then you can use that file to create your topo surface. We have a separate video for this as well, how to link your CAD files and how to create a topo surface from the linked file. Next video, uh, in the next option we have is a simplicity surface. So this is basically very simple. You just have to click on the points and it will create your topo surface. But the most probably you will be using this place point command if you are using uh, if you are using Revit to create your topo surface. Now I'm gonna select this place point command and then in the elevation section, I want to give a five feet of elevation. So I'll type five and press enter. Now I'm going to click a point here and then I'm going to click a point here as well. Now the next elevation we're going to give is minus 5 feet. So what it's going to do, it's going to start over top of surface from here between these two points and the elevation will be 5 feet and it's going to go down to minus 5 feet. So the next one we'll click somewhere here and then here. As you can see that of top of surface have an elevation of 5 feet here and then minus 5 feet here. So you see the lines going down. So after here at this line we are exactly on 0 feet elevation. Now what I want to do here, I want to make sure that my top of surface is basically 0 elevation around my building. So we'll change our elevation to 0 feet and 0 inches and I'm going to click here and I'm going to click another point here and click one point here and then click one point here. So around this area our topo surface has a zero uh, elevation. Now we can add in some few more elevations such as if we want to add two feet elevation around this point, around this point, right? And then give it like this topo surface, right? So now let's click on this tick mark button to finish our surface. I'm going to click it. And now to look at it, we're going to go to house, sorry, 3D model by clicking on this house, bird house man. Now as you can see, our top of surface is done. I'm going to press shift and try to orbit. And as you can see, our top of surface is nicely done. Now if I'm going to render this house man from here, as you can see, our top of surface has a 5 feet elevation at the back. So it's going to look nicer. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to apply this uh, material on a topo surface. And I'm going to select this topo surface. And if you look at the properties here, we have this material option. Actually, the first one is the material option. So we'll click on this little box here, which will bring us this dialog box. And here I want to search for grass. And we have this side grass here. I'm going to click OK. And now, as you can see, the material has been applied to our topo surface. Now, there's a few things we want to do here is basically we want to add a driveway to our garage and a few other things here. So for that, there's a cool command here called subregion. So basically it defines an area within a topo surface. So to use this command, you need to go to site plan, 
So I'm going to double click on the site plan. I'm going to zoom in and then we'll click on this sub region. Now it's bring me back to the sketch mode and I will be using this line tool. So first of all, let's click here and then we're going to take this all the way here somewhere like 30 feet is fine. All right. And then I'm going to, I'm going to try snapping it here. So let's just click here and then we'll just take this around 26 feet is fine. And then I'm going to try clicking here, press escape and make a line from this point here. We'll use this uh, trimming and corner command. So I'm going to click here and then take all the way back to this. And then I can use this trim and extend tool, select this line, select this line, and that will fix that. Now we have the boundary for our driveway. I'm going to click on this tick mark button. And now let's look at that in 3D. So I'm going to click on this uh, birdhouse icon. And there you go. So we've got our sub region done and it's a, this properly aligned to a topo service. If our topo service has some elevation here, the sub region is going to get elevation as well. Now we can apply material to it. So I'm going to click here and then we go back to properties palette and then we click on this little box. And here I'm going to find something like concrete or maybe do we have a road material? No, we don't. So we just type concrete. You can apply whatever the material you want, but we actually have a separate section of the course where I talk about materials and rendering. But this is just the basic way to apply materials. We have so much more options to, to learn in material browser. So let's select the concrete, click OK. And I'm going to deselect it. And there we go. So concrete is done. Now, Quickly, I want to show you how you can render your project. Well, we have a separate video for rendering and rendering is a very advanced topic. So we will cover most of the rendering in those section. Uh, but just quickly show you how you can render your project in Revit. We go to the view tab and here we have option for render. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to select a setting for draw because I want this like a quick render the quickest rendering we have. And in the lighting, I just want to select the sunlight. If you have sun and artificial, it's going to take a long time. So we just select the sunlight. And we have this background option. We'll talk about all of these options in details in a later video. Let's just click on render and we're going to get our project, our building rendered in a few seconds. So we just wait. All right. So as you can see, we got that nice grass done. We have this uh, nicely subway done for our house as well. I'm actually going to cancel out. All right, so in the next video, I'll talk about a few other things, such as adding your fixtures to our house.